moods, a temporal state of mind or feeling. We all have them, but for some of us, our moods can fluctuate more than that of others. Our moods can run our lives. Our moods can determine the way we treat other people, the way we talk to people, if we want to be close to people. Our moods can affect our productivity, our relationship with God, and our usefulness to God. We don't have to allow our moods to control us. God gives us the power by the Spirit to move past our moods. Hello there beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shine Tapeshe. To all my returning subscribers, welcome. If you're new, you're in the right place. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. In this video of today, I'm going to share with you four tips that you can use to move past your mood or how to get your mood right. Let's dive straight into the video. Number one, recognize that this is your flesh. If you are walking by your mood, that means you are walking by the flesh. It's important to acknowledge this because at times you will hear some people will tell you, I'm just a moody person, giving this as an excuse to their bad habits, bad characters, bad behaviors that they are exhibiting towards other people. You will see that when someone talks to you at times, you can just ignore the person you can just reply in a way that wants to be like you are bitter, giving excuse that you are a moody person. That means you're being controlled by your flesh. You don't have to be controlled by your flesh because you have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. Once you have the power of the Holy Spirit and you acknowledge this, even when you are not in a good mood and someone talks to you, you will see that the way you are going to reply, the way you're going to react is going to be different. Always know that your flesh wants to run things. Don't allow your flesh to. Allow the power of the Holy Spirit that's in you to run things. And you will see that the, your attitude, your behavior towards people around you will be different. When people will see the way you act, they will know that yes, this is a child of God. Number two, when you feel yourself being overtaken by a mood, pray. At times you see that you are very moody and you want to overcome this, but it seems like a burden. You need to run to the Lord for help. Let's look at Psalms 61 verses one to two. Hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. Let's look at Psalms 55 verses two to three. Attend to me and hear me. I am restless in my complaint and mourn noisily because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they bring down trouble upon me, and in wrath they hate me. You need to always go to God in prayers. Always pray. There are times that you will see that there are some people who just hate you, you haven't done anything wrong, but they don't love you. These people are always trying to bring your downfall. These people always want to make you to be in a miserable mood. Always pray. Always seek God's face. 
always know that you have the power of the Holy Spirit in you and you can always see God's face in prayers so you will not be controlled by your flesh. Don't allow your flesh to control you in such a way that you can fall for this temptation that these people are bringing. In such a way, there will be no difference between you and such people. No matter your state, no matter what you're doing, always pray. You need to always see God's face in prayer. Number three, talk to yourself. At times, you will see that you are in a mood that you are lonely. You are discouraged. You need to talk to yourself. Let's look at Psalms 62 verses 5 to 6. My soul, wait silently for God alone. For my expectation is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. You see that in this psalmist, David is encouraging himself. So when you read the word of God, when you're feeling lonely, when you're feeling discouraged, you will see that you will feel different. You will feel is going to encourage you. It's going to make you to know that God is always there for you. No matter what you are going through, God is there for you. Even if somebody disappoints you in life and you're in a bad mood, or if something happens, always know that God is always there for you. You should always seek his face. Always go to his word and you will see that your mood is going to change. You will see that the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit that is in you is going to help you to change your moods. You're not going to be controlled by it. Number four, praise. When you feel yourself that you're getting into a bad mood, lift yourself up with praise. Go to the psalmist read the bible out to yourself aloud you will see that it's going to change your mood create a playlist for yourself sing and worship the lord you will see that when you're singing you're dancing you can't be low your mood is going to change the joy of the lord is our strength we need to always be content all of the time because god has always been there for us and he is never going to leave us for any reason so we have so many things we can always do god is there he has given us the power of the holy spirit that we can use this to overcome our mood if you're dealing with moods that is as a result of clinical depression i'll advise you to also seek medical help so that as you're reading your bible you're praying you're also fellowshipping you're praising god in music you will also be taking the medication that you have been given in the hospital. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope it was of importance to you. Please share this video with everyone you know. Encourage them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you watching, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up stay blessed i'll see you in my next video god loves you bye bye